Kia ora folk, welcome to Naturopathy with Bridget and you're listening on Radio Kidnappers in Hastings, Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. I just want to say thanks for taking time out to um, out of your busy day to listen to my recording um, right here on Radio Kidnappers and I really appreciate you. I've been having some good feedback lately so keep listening in folks for your natural health tips here. I am a qualified registered naturopath and medical herbalist and I have my natural house clinic maintaining your house Whakatikatika Oranga based in Napier, Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. I offer a free 15 minute chat to see how best I can help you find a solution um, to your mental and physical imbalances and I do this by using um, herbal medicine, nutrition, I'm a qualified nutritionist, I use vitamins and supplements and um, if I think you need some reflexology which is working on the feet or lymphatic drainage I'll offer those for you as well so it's a holistic package it's all in one, one stop shop here with Bridget so you can contact me on 027 284 3781 right here at the radio station Jill or Ken can pass you on to me I have a Facebook page I have a um, website page www.maintainingyourhealth.co.nz um, So today I am talking to you about mental health, mainly anxiety and depression and how fear can affect these anxiety depression as well as decreasing your immunity. So that's my chat today and um, stay tuned for tip of the day. Um, hopefully Ken will prompt me there, <laughs> which is really helpful, especially today. Okay, so at the moment I feel really blessed to live here in New Zealand. I'm still grateful now to be able to walk around with the freedom and ease of my, of my community. And I'm especially grateful um, to have my business open and still operating. And this is within the current climate of what's happening overseas. Um, so due to censorship issues from Big Brother, Big Brother, um, I'm, I'm not really going to focus on a certain virus's name, but I am going to talk to you about how mental health affects your immunity and how you can empower yourself to to alleviate your fear and to boost your immunity. Um, so I want to say to you that take your power back. Take your power back. You can regain control over yourselves, over the situation that's happening with you personally regarding your own state of health and your mental health and your physical health and calm that fear down. There's lots of things that you can do, so keep listening, folks. Um, so with the current worldwide situation, we're exposed more to what's happening, and some is fear-mongering by the media, and uh, there are lots of theories going around. But all I can say is, um, this is fueling your fear, which is fueling your state of anxiety, and depression, which depresses your immunity. Um, lately in New Zealand media, there's talk of mental health increased because of the car world current affairs at the moment. So I'm here to tell you I can help you, I can help lessen your anxiety and depression, and I can improve your mental health naturally, naturally. I can show you another way to cope with your anxiety, with your depression, using all the tools I have in my clinic, in my natural health clinic. And I'm here to tell you that you do have a choice. Everybody has a choice. So when we feel we have a choice, we feel we have more control, then the fear lessens and our immunity is not so decreased. That's a fact. Look it up. Google it. Okay, 
So I see in my community and my natural health clinic folk coming in with this, this anxiety and this fear about what's happening. Um, and it's affecting their livelihood, their income, their business, their family, their relationships with friends. But it has a ripple on effect into their physical body which then um, decreases the immune system. And I'm repeating that a lot because it's important that you hear those words, decrease the immune system. This, you know, this fear and anxiety also affects your gut function and it also decreases those happy, happy, joy, joy hormones that we, we so need to keep our, and keep our moods lifted. Um, they also help us cope with anxiety and depression. So, you know, our brain, our brains are just so clever. I think they're incredibly intelligent and I believe they far outweigh any computer, any computer. So our brain is continually firing off these chemical messages to other systems in our body that tell it what to do, when to do it, what to release, um, in response to our, what we see, our visual and our fear and our emotional responses. It's holistic health at its best. And today I'm focusing mainly on anxiety and depression. So you, I'm going to say some words that maybe you've not heard of before and they're like GABA. Have you heard of that? Have you heard of that, Ken? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ken's heard of GABA. At the <laughs> no, it's not cricket at the GABA. <laughs> GABA is a, like a a neurotransmitter so it's like a chemical messenger that's made in the brain and it has a calming and rela relaxing effect on the brain and the body so another hormone is serotonin mm, some of you might have heard about that one so that's our happy happy joy joy hormone okay so um, we cannot buy GABA hormone supplement we used to years ago but um, there's some regulations being popped onto that now but what we can do is we can take nutrients vitamins and minerals that help make that they're, they're like the precursors and they help make GABA in the brain um, so rather than buying a bottle of this a bottle of that a bottle of that pot, eating ending up with about six bottles um, if you want to chat to me, um, I can help you find a quality practitioner supplement um, that contains all these in it. And it's a powder form. You just mix it up in, in water or put it in a smoothie, knock it back, off you go. Calm, calm. Ken's laughing. Calm, calm. So it's called Calm X, actually. Who knew, right? So you, if you want to know more about that, give me a ring, text or email me. So um, serotonin hormone um, is made in the gut. Who knew? Who knew that, right? So about 90% of serotonin hormone is made in your gut. Um, so that's really important to keep your gut happy. So if your gut's not happy, we're, we'll think about it this way. So when we're feeling a lot of fear, where, where do you feel that in your physical body? Most people I know feel it in their tummy, in their gut. There's a big connection there with the vagus nerve as well that goes from the gut up to the brain. That might be a new word, vagus nerve. Very, very important. But if, we're, if the gut's out of balance, it's going to affect the serotonin production. It's going to affect your nervous system, which is going to have a ripple-on effect to your immune system as well. Okay. Um, so fear, fear also pumps your adrenals. Now that's a, a little gland that sits above the kidneys um, and it pumps it, pumps it, pumps it when we're in this flight or fight mode. Fear does that to us. So this can signal many hormones. One of them is called cortisol, right? So our cortisol can go up, um, continual pumping of these adrenal hormones, these adrenal glands, can also cause the cortisol hormone to deplete. So it can be extremely high or it can be extremely low. But when it does go up, it has an effect on many functions on your body and one of them is sleep. 
uh, because increased cortisol depletes melatonin and we need melatonin for sleep. I don't know if you've heard of that word before but that's a sleep hormone. Uh, we can take Oh, tart cherry. Cherries are out at the moment. So, you know, naturally take something for sleep at night. I'm not saying eat a whole punnet of cherries, but <laughs> do not take tart cherry from the supermarket that's full of sugar. Don't take that. But there are some lovely sleep products that can help that do have true tart cherry in them. So check them out on your shelf next time you go into town. Um, so when sleep is affected, this in turn can affect all the other hormones. It affects your immune system number one. It decreases how you how your body responds um, to viruses, bacteria, um, any emotional aspects as well. Uh, there's a hunger hormone called leptin that gets affected. So when there's little sleep, that affects your weight gain on and off. Um, it affects your sugar balance, it affects your sex reproductive hormones and your thyroid hormones. So fear affects adrenals, affects sleep as well. So oh, we've talked about serotonin. Oh, but did you know that the good gut bacteria, did you know that the good gut bacteria in, is responsible for helping to make that serotonin in your gut so that's your microbiome that's a flash word but that's good gut bacteria like your probiotics and some people think oh well I'm just gonna go and have some yogurt from the supermarket and that'll be right and I go well how much sugar is in that yogurt and do you have a dairy intolerant and do you know those little bottles of yogurt you probably have to eat about 30 of them to get the equivalent of one capsule of probiotics good gut bacteria. Um, some people are aware of that and some people aren't. So this is all, bring this back to your immune system as well. Okay, so you know, we, I always say that if your immune system is low, let's boost it, let's repopulate your microbiome, your good gut bacteria. They're so important, they're so important for everything in your body, moods, immune system fighting the virus and the bacteria um, so start with a probiotic but probiotics have different strains that do different jobs so if you're not quite sure look give me a bell you can contact me and I'll help you or go into your um, local health shop or your pharmacy or your other health shops and um, they'll be able to set you straight on what strains do the best jobs for you um, Otherwise, once you are topped up, once you are repopulated that microbiome, you can take uh, fermented foods, you know, and, and this has been around with um, folk for centuries, fermented foods. We, we didn't have a pharmacy that we could just go and get a capsule and pop it and off we go. So fermented foods uh, have their own um, microbiome, good bacteria like sauerkraut, uh, kimchi, kombucha, kefir, miso, a few of them um, and if you have the time to make those that's good that will help you on the way help your budget as well but better so other things that we can talk about like boosting your immune system is vitamin D3 um, and I have folk that come to me in clinic and they say well you know I sit out in the sun I get, I get my vitamin D and I go, yeah, but do you know what your levels are? Oh, yes, but I sit in the sun every day. I say, but what time do you sit in the sun? Because that makes a real important um, um, adjustment to your vitamin D3. And if your skin is a little bit darker, uh, that has an impact on whether the conversion in your skin, that process happens as well. So I know for a fact that doctors will not test your vitamin D3 um, but it's a really good idea to go and get it checked before you whip down to your pharmacy or health shop to get some vitamin D3 supplement. You can OD on vitamin D3 and there can be um, some consequences like heart palpitations so it's really important to 
you can to get them checked and you can go to your labs here in Hawke's Bay we've got Med Lab in Munro Street Napier and we've got Southern Cross uh, they're in Napier as well I think they're in Hastings last time I looked it was about $55 and you go core cool, yeah but Google it vitamin D3 and the current virus that's circulating around the world that's going to boost your immune system but first folk get it checked out find out what's your base level and increase it and increase your vitamin D3 it's really really important I can't talk enough about the importance of it um, so it's also good for women for your uh, getting your calcium for your bones as well vitamin D3 and men and men sorry Ken and men <laughs> So please, um, yeah, save up all your cups of coffees and go and get your vitamin D3 checked. Now another vitamin which is really important for your immune system is, and, for, and also ultimately keeping the emotions, anxiety and depression um, calm and level is vitamin B12. I've seen many clients walk in my door that have this state of anxiety about them and I go well let's do some bloods and sure enough their vitamin B12 is really really low now you know paranoia can as a side effect of low B12 and hallucinations so hmm rather than being medicated how about getting those checked vitamin D3 and your B12 that's quite important um, now zinc Oh, I've talked about zinc before, but zinc is another really good virus, uh, virus, vi immune um, boosting, um, and it's blocking the bacteria and virus from multiplying. So zinc, you can have pumpkin seeds, you can have uh, seafood, but pumpkin seeds are pretty good. Or, you know, these nutrients are in that uh, Carmex product I talked about earlier. If you don't want to eat foods that contain zinc, you can pop a pill, pop a pill, if you're busy. Um, herbal, me herbal medicine, like I'm a medical herbalist, so I, I promote herbal medicine in my clinic for calming anxiety and depression and also for boosting the immune system. Currently I have on my webpage under health articles, I think it is, if you go on and have a look, I've got some, a big list of immune herbs there and what they do and how they can help you um, so some of them are like echinacea oh but please contact myself or another health practitioner to check contraindications if you are taking medication or if you are pregnant uh, because it's really important to check okay so echinacea angustifolia or puperia or, or combined it works really well combined that is your natural antibiotic that's been around for centuries taking some of that either in remedy pill or herbal tea it's going to help boost your immunity so another one another natural antibiotic is garlic you know we can start adding that more into our um, into our daily foods of course when you cook it it does change its medicinal effects so other herbs are andrographis, elderberry, olive leaf, thyme, you can grow thyme in your garden as well, thyme, um, manuka honey is really quite good as well. You can add manuka honey and thyme into a jar and just let that steep in, in a cool cupboard, uh, get ready for autumn because that's not far away. So that's antibacterial, antiviral as well. Mushrooms. Now, mushrooms have got vitamin D3 in them. Did you know that? No, no. A lot of people don't, but they do have vitamin D. Um, so, oh, can I pronounce these? Cordyceps, oh, kawataki, <laughs> reishi, shiitake, um, all the varieties of uh, who mushrooms are very good for virus antiviral so check out your Chinese uh, grocery store or even at your supermarket the dried mushrooms in the packets you can use that make some mushroom immune boosting soup 
so vitamin C, don't forget vitamin C with the bioflavonoids is very good for boosting your immunity. So these, by boosting your immunity, it helps your anxiety, it helps your depression as well. Um, so bioflavonoids are what we call the PITH, P-I-T-H, PITH. Okay, so that's the white stuff directly under the skin when you peel it off. So those are called the bioflavonoids, and they're really important to eat with the citrus fruit. That's your vitamin C. Of course, you can get it from um, berries, parsley as well, broccoli, kiwi fruit are very high. Um, there's also lovely calming um, herbs for anxiety and depression, and I have these in my clinic in herbal tea or remedy or capsule form. These are lemon balm, passion flower, St. John's wort, kava, wasania, oats, skullcap, valerian, chamomile, romania, Siberian ginseng as well, because we have to help the adrenals adapt to the, um, the fear, which is depressing your immunity. Okay, so tip of the day. Tip of the day, breathe. Just breathe. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling, oh my God, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening around the world, turn that TV off. Get off the Facebook. Breathe. Take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Choose healthier foods to eat because eating unhealthy depresses your immunity system which depletes your serotonin, which has a ripple-on effect to anxiety and depression. Reduce your alcohol, reduce your caffeine, reduce your processed foods. Drink more pure water. Move your body. Turn some music on. Have a bit of a dance in the kitchen. Go for a gentle walk. Move your body, move your lymphatic system around, which is part of your immune system. Um, so... So folk, if you think that you might like more information or more help on balancing your mental health, anxiety and depression, I'm here to help you naturally with herbal medicine, nutrition, um, yeah. So <laughs> stay kind, stay safe, stay safe and um, kia ora, have a good day.